On the whole, I enjoy traveling, going places, seeing new things. We travel a lot more nowadays than was ever possible in the past, but it hasn't been a steady change in one direction. I remember a time when you could drive from Pershaw to Eversham in six or seven minutes, and you could fly from Britain to America in two and a half hours. Not that I ever did it. And more recently, traveling has not completely passed the problems of COVID-19. We travel for business, and this is rarely a great pleasure. Even in interesting places, you see so little of them on a tight schedule. And we travel for pleasure on holiday. But sometimes I have to admit the travel is the worst part of the holiday. Some people have a very special experience of travel by going on pilgrimage. Now, a pilgrimage has a target, but the journey is important in itself. And the most important thing that is that it involves looking at yourself and looking at what responses you are making to what is around you and what is happening to you. Now, there are always those who are critical of pilgrimage. It's just a holiday given a posh name, they say, and dressed up with pie talk. But that doesn't worry me. If a pilgrimage offered something entirely new, how could we expect to understand it and benefit from it? But if it reflects the best in travel, the best in holidays, then all well and good. And wherever we go, and whatever we do, we have to try and look at ourselves to see what the world and the people around us are saying to us and affecting us, showing ourselves what we really are like. Lord God, you are there for us in every place. Bless us as we travel throughout your world and give us eyes to see your glory, humility to learn about things we see and experience and understanding of those we meet, whether they are like us or unlike, and help us to benefit and grow in all we experience. Amen.